Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do another holiday inspired makeup look today that's gonna be very whimsical and cute while talking about spooky things, of course. So subscribe for more videos like this. We do videos twice a week here on this channel, every Monday and Friday. We do beauty makeups, body paintings, fantasy makeups. Been in the industry for over seven years now in both beauty and effects. So we talk about really interesting things while creating beautiful pieces of artwork on our face. So subscribe if you wanna see some more. Now, I really want to do my version of Santa's Elf. I've done Elf on the Shelf. I've done Santa and Mrs. Claus. We just did Krampus. But today, I want to do something really cute and whimsical and pretty. And I was really inspired by Pigeon Pie Art on Instagram. If you have not seen her work, she is one of my absolute favorite body planners ever on the internet. Her style of the big eyed artwork she does with the bold colors is super unique and beautiful and it looks very hard to accomplish. So I'm gonna be doing eyes similar to hers in this e.l.f. makeup with like a beauty hard to explain but I'm gonna try to attempt this shape of eyes that she does it's so gorgeous I don't know if I could do it but we'll see if I could turn into an elf while talking about really creepy spooky these are kids scary story times for Christmas but they seem really spooky to me even for kids so this first story is gonna be about a girl just decorating her tree and it goes completely and utterly terrifying so let's just get started so I don't think that these stories are real whatsoever, that they're just written, but they're written so well. Maybe they are real, but I don't know. I guess we'll just have to be the judge of that, right? <laughs> so this first story starts out in France, but with a girl named Juliette, and she is decorating her tree, and it just so happens to be Christmas Eve. Her mother was a nurse and was working that night at a hospital, so Juliet was alone by herself in her home. They lived in a small apartment in Paris. And late that evening, Juliet got a phone call from her mother saying that she won't be home from work that evening until a lot later than she originally expected. Juliet continued to decorate the tree by herself in the home with all the lovely things that her mother had bought for them for Christmas. She was draping multicolor Christmas lights around the tree and hanging ornaments from its branches. After finally sitting down, after decorating her tree, she was finally finished decorating, she decided to relax and watch some television. Even though the apartment was on the sixth floor, she felt safe gazing out into the lovely Christmas Eve scene of Paris and the skyline at night. She could actually see the Eiffel Tower from her apartment in the Champs de Mars and most of the other people in the apartment complex have gone home to their families to travel on Christmas Eve to spend time with their families. So basically what this means is that the apartment was almost deserted. Juliet was actually getting extremely bored waiting for her mother to get home when all of a sudden she heard something at her front door. She heard a light scratching noise. She turned down the television to listen even more carefully to see if it was real or just a figment of her imagination. And when she turned down the television, there was an eerie silence. So she decided to walk on over to the front door's peephole and look through it. And much to her surprise, while she's looking through the peephole, she actually saw a very old man in a red suit with fluffy white trim. He was large, with a dirty beard, and he wore a red hat on his head. And he knocked on the door loudly, and her first mistake was, in her concern, she asked him, who's there? It's Santa Claus, he replied. Let me in because I'm cold, tired, and hungry. No, ma'am, uh-uh. This girl's 11, I hope her mom taught her better. <laughs> like, this is just my commentary. I would never let a stranger, when I'm a child alone, let them in my home. But that's just me, and I'm not Juliet. But Juliet was no dummy. She knew whoever this was was not Santa Claus and he actually gave her a frightening chill down her spine when he answered with that answer. 
But her second mistake was she said, my mother isn't home right now, to said Santa Claus. Her voice shaking, she told him to please leave. We are gonna use our color drain palette. This is probably one of my absolute favorite rainbow palettes I have ever spent my money on. There's so many rainbow palettes out there now, but I feel like this one is just so pigmented. It's just so easy to use and vibrant. That's what I love. But as Juliet peered through the peephole, she saw Santa Claus's face just turn into rageful anger and his face twisted into a grimace of hate. He began knocking on the door even harder and rattling the doorknob. It's Santa Claus, Juliet, he frowned. How does he know her name? He said, have you laid out some milk and cookies for me yet, Juliet? You know how much Santa loves his milk and cookies. Is that a euphemism for something? I'm terrified. The young girl had a sinking feeling in the pit of her stomach. How did he know my name? How did he know Juliet's name? The man then began kicking and pounding at her door and he reached in the coat pocket of his coat. And that's when he pulled out a switchblade. If you don't go away, I'll call the police, she shouted. All of a sudden, the knocking stopped. Juliet stood still perfectly still in shock without moving. Minutes passed and she thought that the man might have been scared away by her threats to call the police. Just a little story time break. I don't know why pressing this much on my lower lash line makes my eyes water and my nose drip. Maybe sinus allergies are killing me and not for this makeup. Juliet slowly approached the door after minutes of silence to see if the man was still there to look through that peephole. Was he gone? Because this hallway seemed to be empty. And suddenly, that's when she saw the man running down the hallway. Not only that, but with an ax in his hand. Juliet screamed and ran to her closet in a panic. Don't blame her. Juliet crouched down and behind her coat, she was tearing up, of course, and crying as she heard boom, boom as the old man crashed into her door. No, ma'am. This is an elf beautiful mermaid shimmy, it's called. Liquid eyeshadow sparkle. There was a mighty crash as the door gave way and splintered as the man entered her home. Laughing to himself, he called out, Juliet, my pretty, where are you, Juliet? Going to my NYX swear by a palette, gonna get this. He then said, don't be afraid. We're gonna have ourselves a little bit of fun tonight. Come out from hiding, Juliet. No, ma'am. The crazy intruder walked around the house, searching high and low for this frightened girl. Juliet was just stuck in her closet, trembling in fear, dreading to what this man would do to her if he found her. Suddenly, the handle on the door to the closet began shaking. The handle moved down and she heard the man's voice laughing. He said, Juliet, I know you're in there. Open up for Santa. He said, before I open you up. Terrifying. Almost as terrifying as this makeup. These eyes scare me in a good way. I hate it here. The man began to swing his axe at the bedroom door as it broke away tearing the flimsy wood apart from it as Juliet began to, of course, cry. Good girl, smart Juliet, grabbed the nearest wire coat hanger and made it into a point. She waited for him as her eyes opened wide and her hands were trembling. There was another crash and the closet doors gave way in a bunch of splinters. The man grabbed the door off the hinges, thrust his hand in the closet to shuffle through the coats to find Juliet. He was laughing and drooling like a madman as he grabbed the horrified girl. Juliet bravely grabbed the coat hanger and thrusted it into his face. As he screamed and blood f was flowing from his face, he ripped the wire out of his eye socket and grabbed Juliet by the hair. He then dragged her as she kicked and screamed out of the closet. He pushed her to the ground and held her tight by the neck. Leaning over her, blood spilled from his eye and onto her face. He had a grotesque smile, leaned into her closely, whispered in her ear, tonight you will be privileged, Juliet. 
I've got a list, I've checked it twice, and I'm here to see if you've been naughty or nice. I don't like these. Sayings. He said you could scream and scream all you like, but naughty girls get the ax and nice girls get the knife. So it was after midnight and Juliet's mother finally returned home from work. She returned to the apartment with the door hacked to pieces and the carnage that she saw inside of her home, she was so confused. She was taking it all in, screaming in absolute horror. These are the Dollar Lash Club lashes and Cassie. But the creepiest part of it all was that as Juliet's mom looked around the apartment and saw the decorated tree, the decorated tree was actually decorated with her daughter's entrails. And Juliet's head was perched at the very top of said Christmas tree. Just putting on these ears and a hat, that story was definitely not for kids. Maybe it was warning. Maybe that's what it was. It was warning for kids. Not to read it. Let's cut these little things off, shall we? And just like that, we have turned into a Santa's elf or Santa's little helper, a creepy edition. Definitely check out Pigeon Pie Art on Instagram who inspired this look. Her work is outstanding, amazing, beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this creepy tale that definitely wasn't for kids. Probably one of the most gruesome stories we've told on this channel. You can subscribe for more videos like this. We do videos every Monday and Friday here on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy and stick around. Leave a comment down below on what other videos you would love to see from me next. I hope the makeup or the stories doesn't give you any nightmares. Good night, creators. Bye.